The bill would make it a crime to possess a firearm or ammunition without the new license. Our next guest says this bill is a dangerous distraction. The fact of the matter is, is that, yes, this bill, H.R. 127, is a horrible bill. It's egregious, if anything. Um, and any American, any human, uh, really should be upset about this absolutely blatant, unconstitutional uh, bill that she's trying to push forth. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that she's been in 25, uh, been in office for 25 years and has not actually had any of her gun control bills actually go into law in those years. So the real distraction here that they're trying to push is pushing things like universal background checks into uh, COVID relief, into House rules, into these bills that we think are just going to be about anything else but gun control. But really, slowly but surely, they're pushing these types of gun controls into our everyday bills that we're not going to be focused on. So really, H.R. 27, as egregious as it is, and it is, um, is really a distraction from the real matter. National gun ownership has exploded in the past year. So the mm -hmm. idea of passing a gun control bill through legislation has to have been diminished. In other words, it's less popular than ever to control guns. And so the goal, as you point out, will be to do it through other mechanisms, right? Absolutely. And also the fact of the matter is, like you just said, is that over 8 million new gun owners um, occurred through COVID um, just last year in 2020. And so we have not not only, of course, the typical person that we think of when we think of gun owners, we think of people like me. African-American women are the fastest growing group of gun owners, particularly last year. And so she is going against people's wishes uh, like those of her. I'm actually um, one of her constituents um, in Houston. And so if she really is about, or the Democratic Party really is about about empowering people um, like me, particularly other black women, then she would actually go towards the wishes that we have, and that is to empower ourselves through the Second Amendment and not to uh, disempower us through gun control. Yeah, I mean, Antonia, people should really look at the psychological evaluation component. I mean, they're talking about not only mm -hmm. evaluations for that person looking to get the gun, but family members, past spouses, associates. I mean, this is a very dangerous, slippery slope as far as this language is concerned. We thank you for being here on this. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.